Have you ever wondered what happened to the lost ten tribes of Israel? This is a question that has challenged Bible scholars and historians for centuries. Now the Bible does tell us that as the Assyrian Empire came against the northern ten tribes some 2,700 years ago, that there were members of the northern tribes who heeded the warnings of the prophets and they fled south to Jerusalem and to the kingdom of Judea. Others who were taken into exile came back with Ezra and Nehemiah and rejoined the Jewish mainstream. And so we can say with confidence that the Jewish people we have with us today contain significant remnants of all 12 tribes. Yet there were many from the northern ten tribes who were indeed lost to history, and the search for them goes on to this day. Now the body that has the final say in determining who truly has Jewish ancestry are the chief rabbis of Israel who sit here in the great synagogue in Jerusalem. In the late 1970s, a few individuals from a small group located in northeast India began to research the origins of their religious traditions and their ancestry. Their research led them to discover an ancestral connection to Israel. Under Persian rule, their ancestors traveled through the Silk Route to modern-day Afghanistan, Tibet, China, and finally to Northeast India, in the midst of Myanmar and Bangladesh. This particular group, called the Bene Menashe, or Sons of Menashe, are believed to be descendants from the lost tribe of Manasseh. In the early 1980s, members of the group made contact with an organization in Israel expressing an interest in returning to their ancient homeland. The chief rabbis have gone and investigated these people. They found that they still observe Shabbat. They still keep the kosher dietary laws. They still celebrate the biblical feasts. They still marry only within their tribe. And they still cling to the hope of returning one day to the land of Israel. Where does this hope come from? Were the same Hebrew prophets who warned the ancient Israelites of the coming exile also left them with the hope of return. The prophet Isaiah, for instance, in chapter 43, says, Fear not, for I am with you, and I will bring your descendants from the east and gather you from the west. I will say to the north, give them up, and to the south, do not hold them back. I will bring your sons from afar, and your daughters from the ends of the earth. So when the prophet said, I'll bring your descendants from the east, the B'nai Menashe clung to this hope for centuries, and the chief rabbis have now officially recognized them as having Israelite descent and approved their return to the land of Israel, and this is a modern day miracle. Many B'nai Menashe have already settled in Israel and more are expected to come in September of 2012. The International Christian Embassy has pledged to sponsor the first flight of this new wave of Aliyah from India and hopes to sponsor more flights in the future. The return of the Pnei Menashe, the sons of Menashe, to the land of Israel is one of the most exciting developments of our days. This is exactly what the Bible speaks about in Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 3, where God says he will bring back from captivity the sons of Israel, the house of Judah, back to their land to possess it. And we want to invite you to become part of this exciting end time prophetic action of God and to place a financial seed into God's return of the chosen people to the land of Israel. Become a partner of the Christian Embassy and help us to bring the Bnei Menashe, the sons of Menashe, back to the land of Israel. We are your embassy here in Jerusalem. May the Lord bless you out of Zion.